Let's ghetto go. unit, you know what I mean? Trap the God, real shit. Gully TV, my nigga for real. My guy in Brooklyn, bro. Uh, you know, it's uh, Crown Heights, period. But um, really, um, Kings. I'm from Kingston, between Bergen and Saint Mark's. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's <clears throat> right around the corner from um, Albany Projects. You know okay. Mean? Rest in peace, Adam Miller. I was gonna get to that. Mm -hmm. you, you you took me right there. That's my favorite MC. Tell my viewers mm. something that they I got his jersey too. By the way, his family sent me his basketball jersey. Tell my viewers something yeah. ex exceptional about the great late half a mil. Yo, I mean, yo, when I was when I was younger, you know, coming up as a, as an MC, he was one of the um the the the, the, the dope. I, I already knew he was a was a ill a ill MC, right? <clears throat> In the hood, period. But then he started. Then he blew up. He started fucking with um with the firm, with not with Nori. You know what I mean? Like doing crazy shit. And um, you know, you know what I mean? He was the. I seen him posting up his posters everywhere in the hood. You know what I mean? Right. So I was I always um idolized the shit. And um, you know what I mean? I know that's the route to go. You know what I mean? No doubt. Give me some history on the name Rusty Jux. How'd you come up with? I came up with Rusty Jux. Um. I just came up with that name, man. At the time, my name was Vic Flair. Vic you know Flair? I mean, not Vic Flair, Vic Funkster. My okay. Bad. You know what I mean? So that was my name at the time. And the youngsters, I think they ch they were saying something about the Illy Philly Funkster. So I they was like, was. you know, I'm changing my name. So I changed my name to, um, you know what I mean, the Rusty Jooks. It was Rusty Jooks, man. Okay. You know what I mean? I was sitting on the stoop just coming up with, some, you know, thinking of some, some hard shit to combine, you know what I mean? And I came up with that. And, you know, the shit just stuck. Tell me how you made your way <clears throat> into this rap game. Yo, I was, um, you know, I was always just doing the, um, you know, the battles in the in the neighborhood and shit, running up the ciphers and shit. You know what I mean? Um, you know, any chance I got with the with the OGs to the to niggas my age, and um, you know what I mean. But I just kept, I started putting out singles around um, '96. You know what I'm saying? And um, just like vinyl singles and shit. So then um. My manager at the time, he linked me up with Helter Skelter because he was like, yo, he's rock cousin. So he, so he was like, yo, um, I want to um, introduce you to Helter Skelter and shit. They working on their new shit. And I was like, hell yeah, because I was, I was a fan of boot camp already. Like, right. you know, that, that shit was Brooklyn right there, the fatigues, every, you know yeah. what I mean? Since Into the Stage, I was a fan. So hell yeah. So he brought Sean Price through. Sean Price, you know what I mean? He came, he, that nigga had his feet out the, uh, um, foot out the, out the window and shit. And um, this is when he first cut his dreads. And, you know, he got out, we was talking and shit, we kicked it, and I, I was spitting for him, he loved it. And you know what I mean, I just started fucking with them. I started going to Brownsville, Cephalo. Right. They was, you know, going to the studio, I was seeing how real artists was um, recording their shit, you know what I mean? They was in D&D &D and a lot of big studios. Right. And um, you know, I featured on their, their, um, their second album, Magnum Force, the title track and another joint. And then after that, I was just, you know, doing a lot of boot camp collabs and, Dropping my own shit. Speaking of SP, well, you got a song with his wife. I met her before her birthday. Yeah. Dope, dope. That was dope. Tell me how that came together. Whose idea was it? And I didn't know she was an MC. I didn't know she was a rapper. Wait, wait what song you talking about? With me? With you with and me her. and Bernadette? Yeah. Yo, yo, listen. I met her, I met her at Prodigy uh funeral. I know I know her. I met her before. Right, all right. So, so this shit, you know, Bernadette got her own joint. She got the open letter. You know what I mean? Okay. That song is crazy, man, from the heart, man. I really, I really shed a tear listening to that shit for the first time, man. I was like, yo. And, um, you know, I had, um, like, two other joints, you know what I mean? Universal Sean and Sean VSOP with Rock, both featuring Rock. <clears throat> and um, I'm working on this album with DJ Views. And so he he thought of it. He was like, yo, you know, um, I want to get you and Bernadette on the joint, you know, do the joint for, um, you know, uh, joint um, reminiscing over Sean and shit. And I was like, all right, bet. So, um... You know what I mean? Hit burn, I hit burn and sent to the joint and we knocked it out. And the shit came out crazy, man. I just shot the video. My son shot the shit. Yeah. And, um, you know what I mean? It, it, it my, it's, it's on my new album, we Getting Ready to Drop. When I was doing my research right. and, and shit, And we performed that up. shit a few times I and that shit. was live. Yo, it was Made crazy, smile. man, because I would have never thought, you know what I mean, my sister would be performing and, and you know what I mean, she holding it down, like, seriously. Right. Man. Like, seriously, man. Like, you know, I love her, man. Word. Was that was something that was spawned posthumously, or she was already dabbling in music? She already had an MC skill set or something like that. She, yo, she listened to everything. You know what I mean? And she, she, she real critical with the shit. She like bars. You know what I'm saying? Right. And she's also like, 
you know, she's real like, um, I don't wanna say emotional, like she's deep, she feels shit deep, so she, you know what I mean? She can spit that real life shit. That's why that open letter shit is so, so personal. Right, you know what I mean? right. So I already knew she could do it, you know what I mean? So tell she me told how, me she was doing it, I was with it. Tell me how Instagram and the online, everything has served your purpose. Tell me how, because uh, uh, prior to Instagram and shit like, I didn't even know what you look like. I've been uh -huh. seeing your name in magazines right. for years, on flyers, <clears throat> source, all, uh, for years, right, on, right, on right. projects with reputable people for years, right. but I never knew what you looked like. Right. How did the internet change things for I you? I mean, yo, vi the videos, when sh the song, hearing the song is one thing, you know what I mean? You be like, yo, I love this shit. The visuals bring that shit to life, you know what I mean? Right. So um, I'm always doing that, you know what I mean? Like, um. Even with, you know, I've been on this shit since MySpace, you know what I mean? You know, you know all this um, social media shit. Right. Um, you know, my, my presence is heavy on the on the um, Facebook, Twitter, and, and Instagram and shit. And um, I just started the TikTok shit, you know what I mean? Just to, you know. Right. But, um, yo, man, this shit is, this shit is, is left. yo, you can make money for posting reels. It's, it's a, yo, it's a whole lot of shit, man. That, it, as an artist, you can really capitalize off of. You know, versus back in the days when it was, you know, harder to get right. on. Like, you could really, you could drop some shit on, in, in, on TikTok and that shit go viral and boom. You know what I mean? It's big for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You ain't even have to have a whole year's struggle. You know what I mean? Or, you know, but, um, so this shit is really good, man. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm eating off this shit, man. And I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Yeah. And, um, you know what I mean? I just, just nonstop consistent with the raw shit. You know what I mean? I seen, um some recent um shows that you did yeah. on, on on ig and shit like that and you was yeah. rocking the fuck out of a party and i'm like damn he got a following like and i'm like yeah. it puzzled me a little bit and shit you know what i'm saying i've i've, I've encountered other people like that Yo, but, look, but this this has a lot to do with social media branding right right Give me a secret. How how's you how have you <clears throat> yo, been able like, to take ig I've been doing, and put I, yo, bodies at the show Yo, yeah, like I've been doing that shit for years with the with the shows, you know what I mean? And that goes back to Sean P. You know what okay. I mean? That's how I got my first passport went on my first tour with Sean P. And I followed his formula, you know what I mean? I see how he handled the promoters, how he got his shows. You know, my my, my stage show got sharper fucking with something. You know what I mean? So I was started doing that shit my own, you know what I mean? Cause I'm I'm on my album like 21 right now. You know what I mean? Seriously, all independent joints, five with duck down. You know yeah. what I mean? Four or five with Duck Down and, and all the rest independent and shit. And, um, Tell me you know more I mean? about just, these 21 I just, I just projects. Keep, I just keep pushing shit out, man. Like, it's fans that love all of these shits. They got my whole catalog, man. Like, I performed, I, I did a whole tour in Japan. You yeah. know what I mean? I did all over Europe from, I don't give a fuck, what are you talking about? Belgium, France, Italy, uh, uh, Slovakia, e everywhere. You know right. what I mean? To Canada, all over the U.S. And um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm yet, and we about to hit Africa. I, I was about to hit that shit, but the COVID shit came and fucked up. Right. But you know what I mean? It's just putting out content, man. It's a fan base. Like people think they listen to the mainstream shit, and they, they be, you know, they think like that's it. But it's a whole nother scene with the underground shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a whole nother fucking scene. And they love the raw shit. You know what I mean? That that I'm, I'm putting out. So. Are you comfortable there? Are you comfortable there? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's your world. Definitely, underground. Man. Yo, I've, I've been, I've raised my kids with this shit, man. Everybody is healthy. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to complain about. Word. Word. That's crazy. That's crazy. Serious shit. 21 projects. Yo, my oldest is, my oldest gonna be 24 and shit, man. I raised them off this rap money, man. You know what I mean? This I do, this is what I wanted to do since I was 12 years old. And I'm, I'm you know what I mean? I make, this is, like, this is what I get paid for. You know what I mean? I love this shit. Tell me um, some of your uh, collaborators that I should check from. Because I've seen your name associated with this going back to like Guru and Bumpy Knuckles in them air. Like your name really right, been right, around right. and shit. Like, Shout out to Bumpy Knuckles too. Yeah, I've I, 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 I had all those magazines, my nigga. So yeah, I was just, yeah, I just yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. a face on there and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, man, I've been out there for a minute, man. Of the 21, what would you consider to be your Illmatic? Uh, shit. My first album, um, 
my first album gonna always hold that that spot, man, because it's the it's the um you know that's the that's the debut. You know what okay. I mean? So um, I mean you know that's how I was. Introduced What's the name to of the, the first world. one? The shit is called Sean Price presents Rusty Jukes Indestructible. You know what I mean? It's called Indestructible, but that was the you know the whole title. Son put the stamp on it, and um you know what I mean when I first came in with that one. I was just showing all my versatility. Every joint was dope. Every joint was different, and um, the, the production was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was some real MCing on it. Who do you prefer to work with as far as a producer? Explain to me how you come Yo. up with the Rusty Jook sound. Is it one particular guy that keeps this sound? Nah, because you see, all right, Primo, definitely a producer I wanted to work with. You know right. what I mean? And I love the, the, the Gangstar group, you know what I mean? The, the, the Gangstar Foundation, man. So I always, I followed that format of one MC, one producer. So every every album, even though it's a different producer, it's always me and them, you know okay. what I mean? So that's how I did it ever since, you know, not the first one, but uh, every album after that. So, and, um, so when you got off into the 21, you, each one you fucked each, with a, a, a different producer. Right, different producer. So, you know, it brought out a different sound, a different, um, you know what I mean, feel for me, you know what I mean? It's, and the shit is crazy. Can you recollect your first day meeting Sean Price? Yeah, that was the first day. That was the first day. What I was telling you when I when he got out the car. Oh, okay. You know that what I mean, the, that was entirely. the first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prior to that, was you aware of him beyond being an MC, like you know the DSEP thing and the low life thing and all of that? Was I knew. Yeah, I knew he was a DSEP. Yeah. Yeah. Explain to my viewers who are of a a, a, a younger demographic. Who the Decepticons were briefly, and then they can go and do the knowledge. I mean, um, I would just, I, I couldn't really explain what the Decep is. I just know they was a band of brothers, um, you know, from Brownsville to, to Best Style to Crown Heights, you know what I mean, all over, man. And um, they was um, something to be reckoned with. <laughs> Yesterday was Biggie Small's birthday. Yeah. Tell me something about the late great <clears throat> Biggie Smalls. Yo, Biggie was one of the fucking illest, man. Like, for real, for real. He was like one of them, um, when I, I remember not seeing his face at first, you know what I mean? Like hearing um, uh, uh, R&B bitch and uh, um, party and bullshit, you yeah, know what I mean? Know what and I didn't like see his face either. until like Juicy and shit, you know, you know what I mean? So, always been a fan of Biggie, man. Like he, he, he brought a whole new style, new flavor to the game, man. Word. Does, is there still a New York sound? Of course. Um, when I say that, you got drill music, which is very, very prevalent here in the Bronx. Right. As well as, you know, Brooklyn and other, part, other, part, other parts of the United States. Mm -hmm. Is there still a New York sound? There's always going to be a New York sound, man, because it's New Yorkers. You know what I mean? Is we still talking that New York shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Walking that New York walk, so... That shit gonna always be there, man. Now, so when I say this, out, right? It's gonna come out in the music. Now, when Word. I say this, does New York sound cons consist of a specific type of production, drums, snares, whatever? Nah. Because I noticed I people people try to. Um, I know that people. I, I noticed that people vibe. throw the word. It's, it's they, a they, vibe. It's a feeling because New York hip hop. You could get. You got so many different types of New York hip hop. You know what I mean? You be talking about Annie Up. Or you could be talking about um, a world tour. That's all New York. And that's different shit. So you can't say, like, you know what I mean? It's just the vibe. Word, the slang. If I requested five <clears throat> MCs, you say you couldn't come up with it based on the history and how many contributions have been given to the culture? Yo. Preferences? I mean, I would be, I, I would be going off of one era or another era, or, you know what I mean? I can't even. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this shit. You know what I mean? First, you know what I mean, I'm a student of hip hop, so you know, definitely Sean Price would be one. You know what I mean? Rock Kim. You know what I mean? KRS. Right. I don't want to. I don't want to just get in that era and shit, man. Cause then I could bring it all, all the way up to Nas and. Red man and all that shit, you know what I mean? So I can't even get a five. That's good. That's good money right there. I got a general idea. I yeah, got a yeah. general idea. Um, <clears throat> your first rhyme, can you recollect it? Can you recollect penning your first rhyme? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember writing it, but I remember the first rhyme a little bit. And shit. You still remember some of it? Yeah. Let me hear it. 
It's like rusty jugs blowing niggas out the frame. Fill the flame from my hot heated hellified name on fire. Burning about the burst with a verse. Curse with the funk that you pump in your trunk. God damn. So shit like that. I forgot. That, that shit all right. Yeah, that shit all right. Like <laughs> that didn't sound like no rookie joint. Yeah, man. That was some, you know, 1990 shit. 2022 this summer yeah. you releasing any music out here yeah definitely man i got i got a whole bunch of albums locked and loaded and just ready to you know what i mean blast off i got one album with dj views he's a producer from australia he out in um in uh in japan right now or whatever okay. no hawaii anyway me and him got an album it's crazy i got um nine on there you remember nine yeah and i um featuring bernadette that single my man skanks the rap martyr uh, my man uh, Melly Mel from Africa. Then I got another album with Rock. Me and Rock got an album together. It's called Crownsville. You know what I mean? Crown Heights, Brownsville shit. And the fans really don't understand how much they need this shit, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We might not get another Helter Skelter. And me and Rock is here. And you know what I mean? This shit is Oh, you stepped murder. in there. You yeah, stepped man, in there. Yeah, we man. Sure. We got more joints. You know what I mean? Representing Sean. So this shit is crazy, man. Then I got another album with my man Skinks, the Rap Martyr. He, that's my brother from Crown Heights and shit. Okay. And um, produced by UG from the Cellar Dweller. Word. Everybody crazy, that you man, name so. are people that I need to get in front of this camera. What I'm trying yeah. to do with this platform, I'm trying to 100% protect and preserve this shit. I want, I don't want yeah. the youth, I don't want nobody to go another day without having a visual on what Rusty just looked like. <laughs> straight up so that's what brought they know, they me that's know what, what i look like that's man, what brought me you. out here today <laughs> you know what i'm saying how's performing in the west coast how does that treat you y'all always got love on the west man. that shout out to mr always, cr he put always. us together and shit Word up man um salute to my, my man pause once you know what i mean the whole shit was dope man word i was in uh three parts i was in uh pomona north hollywood and uh what was the other one um uh Forgot the fucking Whitaker, some shit like that. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, it's Whittier. Word, man. So yeah, the shit was the shit was dope, man. Uh, every show the crowd was live, and I judged the rap battle. You know what I mean? Another day, so the shit was dope, man. I shot a, I shot a video for my new shit out there. Yeah, the uh, the scene out there um, in California, it seemed like they got a big big appreciation of this hip this East Coast hip hop, which is kind of, it was strange to me until I seen it in person. I was at a Sky Zoo show out there. Right. And that shit was jumping just like your, just like your yeah, shit. I'm yeah, like, yeah. do y'all get the I same mean, response when y'all over the a, over a East? appreciation of real hip hop, you know what I mean? So when they, they hear artists from all over, that's crazy, you know what I mean? They love that shit. So, you know what I mean? I was, I'm, you know, I'm blessed to still be here doing this shit. Is there a difference? Is there a, vis a visible difference between rocking on on the East Coast and rocking out West? Not to me. Not to me. The show shows the show. Shows the show. Work. I'm gonna rock it out. I don't. You know, whatever state, how many, how, how, how more, how few. You know what I mean? Where were you at the day that you got the news that Sean Price was no longer with us? Um. I was um I was in the bed and um my wife I think she just woke me up or I just woke up. She was telling me what um that burner that had posted, you know, on, on Facebook that um that he passed and shit. And then when I called and I heard uh, um somebody else picked up the phone and I hear her in the background and that's when I knew it was, you know what I mean? But, Tell my viewers where they can find you at online.com's merch websites. What up, what up? Rusty Jux on Twitter is R-U-S-T-E-J-U-X-X-357. On Instagram is Rusty motherfucking, un Rusty underscore motherfucking underscore Jux. You know, Facebook is Facebook Rusty Jux, you know what I mean? Um, YouTube, official, official Rusty Jux TV, you know what I mean? Fuck with me. Hey, yo, what up, man? You know what crime it is. Rusty Jux, the king of the crown, world renowned, man. And you rocking with Gully TV. Salute.